Hello and welcome back to Computers Are Awesome, the YouTube channel. And this is going to be the overview and teardown of this computer. The HP Pavilion 513C, if you can see it. So if you could not, probably the camera did not focus, but it is the HP Pavilion 513C. So, let's start with the CPU cooler first. If I can get that out. Yep, sure did. And this is just a thing to vent the air. As you see, there are two fans. One on the Intel Celeron. Because this is an Intel Celeron. And another to vent the air out. And this is a power supply unlike any I have ever seen. There are quite a few bloated capacitors, which are not that good. Oh man, that's a lot. Yeah, there's like six or seven, and the smell is not that good either. But let's just take the CPU cooler out. If that's the way you take the CPU cooler out. Okay. Well, I guess you have to push it hard. Oh. This is harder than I expected. So I don't break it. Nope, did not break it just yet. I wonder what the Celeron looks like, because I did not take a little look yet. Oh, took the cooler out. Looks a little like an AMD processor, in fact. So it is a PGA processor, not an LGA. I kind of figured that. Wow. Look at that CPU. Very little thermal paste. In. Whatever that thermal paste is, I don't like it. It's not the greatest quality thermal paste. Ew. I'll wash my hands after this. But oh my god, look at how many bad capacitors there are. I am certainly probably not going to fix it because, you know, there's just too many capacitors that have gone bad. Actually, capacitors are fairly cheap. There are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, possibly even 11 bad capacitors. So, yeah, that might be fairly hard to fix. The floppy drive is right here. And that CPU is quite fascinating. There's 256 megs of DDR memory. I think it's DDR400. Not sure. Oh. Man. Okay. 266 megahertz. Now, I don't know what type of Celeron this is. I mean, it's interesting. But let's just finish the tear down. So, uh, this fan is quite dusty. These capacitors I do not want to touch. This power supply is a best tech. I knew it. Because I read it, I was just using my memory to, you know, get it. Although, best tech power supplies are not my favorite power supplies in the world. Well, one thing, because uh, many people do not really like Bestex, and uh, they have a reputation for taking motherboards with them when they die, and that's why I don't like Bestex. Otherwise, I'd have no problem with a Bestex power supply. Let's get this screw out.
Man, this computer smells bad probably because of those capacitors. Yeah, those capacitors blew up a long time ago. I hope this Best Tech Power Supply did not have any bad capacitors, but you never know how good Best Tech is. Oh, wow. Okay, the power supply stuck in there good. Yeah. It's gonna be hard to get out. Although, at least this computer was free. Although, uh, yeah. Otherwise, um, I may have, mm -hmm. I might have wanted to get it if I, it was like a couple of bucks, but I don't know. I don't think this computer might be worth it because, I mean, looking at those capacitors, the only thing I might want is a Celeron and memory power supply, possibly for scrapping. Maybe the motherboard for scrapping. Uh, network card. Yeah. Ooh. Oh. Thought that was a bad capacitor. But it's just a good capacitor. <laughs> Seems like the bad capacitors are all the same, so... Might be easy to replace, in fact. Let's just uh, take this Ethernet card out, or not Ethernet, telephone modem out. All of those capacitors just don't smell good. I don't like the smell of it. it smells very... I don't know how to explain it, but it's just it's not the smell I would like to be around while eating. And I'm not eating right now, but it's just that kind of smell. Wish I had a mask on right now because it smells pretty bad, but I'll live. So this is a Ethernet car telephone modem that I really don't know the brand of. And I dropped it again. Let's put it with the memory. And it won't hurt to put it on tile flooring. But this looks very much like an AMD CPU nowadays, but I knew that Intel once had PGA processors and they may still have some laptop processors if they make any removable ones. But what I'm interested in, what I was interested in about this PC was the power supply. So let's take it out if I'm able to. Nope, I'm not able to. Unless I take the optical cable out, which might be a pain because uh, the optical drive is big and fat. So. I'm going to turn on the air freshener because uh, the smell just does not feel, smell good and I do not want it to stay. So, yeah. I can already take this out. Nope. Might not be able to. Oh my god. Yeah, doing it one-handed is kind of hard. Ooh. This has a Windows XP key, and I was hoping I'd have a Windows 2000 key. Cords everywhere, because I was just charging my phone, and I just yanked it out. Not the greatest. I wonder what this is. I think this is the place to store your CDs. That's actually a pretty neat idea. So... Uh, take out whatever I can. I'm unfortunately not able to take out the power supply. Not today at least. Let's take out this little fan. 
I don't think I'll be fixing this computer. I'll be scrapping it probably. Let's see how much it's worth. I'll clean off that Celeron and well, show you it in another video maybe. Maybe I might do it now. Although, fan's kind of hard to get out. <laughs> I'm able to get out the caddy. Full disk drives. Let's check. Ooh. Yeah, I know. Those are on permanently. Although, I don't know which type of power supply this is. Oh, it looks like it might possibly be an ATX. Or a weird kind of ATX power supply. Oh, I might know what these are for. Is this an ATX power supply? I'm not really too sure. Hoping it isn't, because I do have a couple shuttle PCs that could possibly use it. But, no. I think this is an ATX. Let's take, try to take a power supply to be sure. And I truly don't know the wattage either. Wait, let's stick it back in if I'm able to. Yep, nope. But, uh, let me just take out these IDE cables. Just for the sake of it. Does this have any SATA ports? Wonder. If it's just too old to have any SATAs. Oh, this one's stuck in there. Yeah, this has no SATA ports, unfortunately. So this is too old for that. <laughs> Most of the computers I saw have SATA ports. Only a couple don't have it. Including a computer that doesn't have any SATA or IDE ports, but two RAM slots, so I could possibly upgrade it to one or two gigs of RAM, depending on the limit for that CPU. And uh, those capacitors, I'm still thinking about fixing them because I do have soldering iron. And um, I might take out the motherboard because I mean the motherboard's in overall good shape, other than this capacitor but um hopefully the CMOS battery leaked up and there's a dust bunny that I forgot to take out with the air duster which I'm not gonna take out right now because that would in a way be a unintelligent idea but if you like this video please like it and subscribe and I will keep you updated with my five computers I found and um, all but two of them don't have any bad capacitors and bye